Okay. So now some people will put um, glass on the top. If you put glass on here, just take this down to Home Depot or Lowe's and say, I need a piece of glass exactly this size. You won't even need these M3 screws. What you'll want to do is figure out another way to hold the, the glass down. Uh, you could print yourself, design and print a little glass tab. There's others, there's other designs floating out there. But you want to hold it down without these four. But these are for the people that don't have the glass yet. So we're going to put our belt clips on. Um, by the way, I lucked out here. Uh, you want the, the side of your motor. You know, there's an offset belt. So, you, you know, if we would have put it on like that, and the belt would have been over here and the pulleys over here. So make sure before you bolt it together like I did, um, you want to make sure that belt clip is on the right side. So... That's going to go there. I always like to orient these the same way. doesn't really matter which. This is a half inch screw. And a square nut, again, interchangeable. With hex. But I have square right now. Truthfully, doesn't matter. The uh, square tend to grip really well, so I a lot of times I'll use those because they kind of have this little the corners of the the uh, nut. Back that off. The corners of the nut kind of dig into the material you're next to, so does a nice job of kind of being a self-locking if you get it facing the right way. So there's one. Let's do the other. Orient it the same way. Like that. minutes into this part of the video. We're doing pretty good. If we get this bed on in the next five, I'll be happy. So that's that. Now we've got almost there. We've got these bar ends to put on. And there's one special bar end, and we call that the bar end with the end stop. We're going to put, I think it's this one, put this guy in. And that's going to be our adjustable end stop. Now the, uh, oh, I think I did it backwards. Or did I? That's right. That's right. Okay. So these just go on the bars and uh, let's see what, how long are these. These are the bolts that you'll need are 632 inch and a quarter. long enough to reach down, punch through the bottom of the end stop, and grab a square nut, or hex if you choose. It's been a point of contention, <laughs> so I'm being very clear, either will work.
Oh, you know what would be good? Before I tighten these down too much. Let's get our belt halfway assembled. So I got two of those ready. It'll be handy in a moment. Now you'll get a long belt and a short belt. Uh, this is going to be the short belt. So that's this one. And it threads through like this. A lot easier to do. Not impossible to do with uh, the, the bed on, but very difficult. So it fits through like that. Make sure you can see it. And it operates like this. Now's a good time to kind of gauge the depth of your pulley. I'd like mine to go down a little bit further. Again, do not over tighten. And if you flat that, put a flat side on the shaft, you'll be better off. You won't have to tighten as much. Okay, so now these are ready when we need them. So not a big setback. Get these bars in again. Okay, now I just like these bars to peek through, but not exceed beyond, just kind of be flush. Leave my square nut in the bottom there. Excellent. This one's already there. Love that when you tighten it, the bed kind of perks up a little bit. The other bar ends. Again, they're they're going on like this with the on the right. It looks like the letter B. So the, the screw goes on the inside of the bar, not the outside. And if you have the wrong bed, uh, we'll get you a new one, or you can redrill your hole, which because it needs to be needs to be right. Oops. Gotta go a little deeper. Here we go. Hmm. There. It's good and tight. Six thirty-two, one and a quarter inch. All right. So minus. Uh, these belts now. Uh, you know what, for this I'm going to go ahead and pull these out so I can turn it over and show you how that, how that works. All right, one belt's coming out on that side. Okay, so what I like to do first off is make sure um, I'm on a straight line looks like the inside is going to be a better choice I need a screwdriver oh, so I'm going to put it through the inside and loop it back through and I'm going to do that on both sides and I'm going to do that off camera I'll show it to you in a second.